Hi, I'm Shan. This is Shani Reads. Um, it's Friday. I don't usually work Fridays. Um, I've got to go and teach you a class later on. And this morning I've been to yoga and then had breakfast. So it's kind of a nice day. Um, it's a really beautiful kind of sunny autumn day here in um, Cardiff as well. So this morning I'm reading, or today, or at the moment, I'm reading Books for Living by Will Schwab. Um, it's a book I got at the library and he also wrote the book The End of Your Life Book Club which I really enjoyed which is a book about his um, when his mother was dying and how they used to uh, kind of have a little book club between them so they'd read the same book so that they'd have something to talk about when they met up rather than just kind of her illness and all the other stuff going around it and I thought that book was lovely this book maybe I'm not loving quite as much but I'm still really enjoying it it's kind of like little essays around um, how different books have affected him throughout his life um, and kind of just end up kind of telling you um, stuff about his life as well. So by uh, talking about Giovanni's room, he talks about um, being gay and kind of realising he's gay and finding that connection with other people. So it's really lovely. It's quite easy to read as well. Um, the beginning bit, though, starts with um, a dream that he's in an airport and he's going to get, he's going to, he's getting on his flight or he's just about to go to his flight. The last call has been and then he realises he doesn't have a book and he's like rushing around the airport trying to find a bookstore so that he can buy a book to go on the flight because the thought of being stuck for hours on a flight without something to read is just well it's just unthinkable and um, I kind of related to that um, and I was wondering and I'm sure lots of you would too but I was wondering if kind of book reading can become almost quite compulsive or a little bit addictive or um, definitely like an attachment, which, you know, we don't like in yoga. Um, and I was wondering what you think about that, because I do feel I have to have a book with me at all times. I would never like contemplate going on a, a journey without a book. Um, yes, and I kind of think as well, I think book buying go, kind of goes into another side of it, really, because I do think um, that kind of, I guess buying anything can be a little bit kind of, addictive or compulsive. Um, Emma, uh, Emma Books, is that her name? She does like, um, I really like her, she does like young adults kind of uh, books and she talked to, in one video quite a while ago about how um, she had, she stopped herself buying books for a couple of months because she did recognise that kind of compulsive behaviour in herself. Um, and I haven't booked any books really for a couple of months because, partly because I've just got masses of them, partly kind of money as well. Um, but yeah, it's nice to just read the stuff that I've already got and then I have been getting stuff out of the library, which is almost like buying books. You almost get that kind of buying rush with it as well. Unfortunately, I, what I should be reading is this one, um, and that's The Ministry of Utmost Happiness by Aaron Dutty Roy, and I've got reading group on Sunday, um, and I'm only on page 121. I'm not going to finish it by half two on Sunday. Um, and I thought, I was really looking forward to it, but I'm actually really struggling with it. Um, I... I think the writing is beautiful, but I'm finding the plot really confusing. And um, so I don't really know what's going on. It hasn't, you know, if I read little bits, I think, oh, that's lovely, but it's it's not really drawn me in at all. So I'm really struggling with it. Although I know that other people who've read it in our group, um, they said that by the end, it kind of all comes together and they've really enjoyed it, but admitted that it has been a bit of a struggle. Um, so if you've read it, let me know what you think. I kind of want to put it down, but I will might read a little bit more um, before then. But I guess, yeah, really what I was thinking about was, like, books as addictions. And I kind of noticed it in myself if I read, um, you know, if you read something that's really plotty and then you just literally can't put it down. And then that makes me feel, after a while, makes me feel a little bit uncomfortable. Um, and almost like a little bit sick from <laughs> from reading uh, too much. Um, and I also know that in myself that um, by reading, of course, I'm not doing other things. So... Um, and often I know that I should be doing more creative things and I often don't do them. So um, a little while ago, my angel lady, and I'll just leave that there, she kind of put me on a culture band for a week, a weekend, or it might have been a week. I can't even remember. I think it was just a weekend um, where she said I could like watch trashy things or I think I could have read trashy things. But actually, I just it just made me it just made me really sad that I couldn't because I was in the middle of reading something that wasn't trashy. And it made me really sad that I kind of had to put that down but it also made me really aware of, of my feelings towards reading um but it did I think her whole point of banning me from reading 
was so that I would be creative and make something. And I did start doing that. So I, yes, I'm aware in my head that by, by consuming just loads of kind of books or culture or even like TV or m listening to music, then you're not being creative yourself, kind of. I think that might be all I have to say on the matter. There is a really lovely quote, though, that I found. Not a lovely. A quote I love um, from Wonder Boys. And I don't know if you've read Wonder Boys, the uh, Michael Chabon book, but the book is just lovely. Um, and the film is also great. And they're kind of interesting because they're slightly different, um, but I love them both equally. Um, I feel that the, the, the film did really nice things with it. Uh, this quote is from the film. They slightly changed it from the book. But in the film, the Michael Douglas character, Grady Tripp, who's like a, um, he's a writer but also, and a university lecturer, lecturer, and he's having an affair with the Chancellor, um, Frances McDormand. And um, she said, he says about her, she was a junkie for the printed word. Luckily for me, I manufactured her drug of choice. Yes. Um, I'd like to know what you think about all of those things or if you've read um, either of these books that I'm kind of sort of reading I am reading this one I'm pretending I'm reading that one um yeah I will see you soon I'll be back next week I guess um maybe maybe I will have bought some books by then I'm not sure it might have to be library books anyway hope, hope you have a lovely weekend I'll see you soon bye